Good morning and welcome to Breed Middle School where we're hosting the Lynn rivalry of all rivalries here in the city. The classical English softball matchup. I'm Sean Donahue, one of your announcers today. I am Stephen Galvin, your other announcer today. Great day today here on Marathon Monday. So we're really excited to bring you this one. Uh, pitching for the Lynn English Bulldogs is, is the one and only Patton. Uh, sorry, Ariella uh, Boy. Ariella La Boy. Ariella. Oh dear, I've been. I think I pronounced Ari. I said Ariana last game. So we'll stick with last names for today. Yeah, let's just go. La Boy in at the pitching <laughs> position, and of course we got Panero at the catching position. Lauren Wilson will lead off the classical Rams in the batting lineup today. And we're happy to bring you GBL girls softball. Classical and English right now still standing uh, towards the middle of the pack when it comes to the GBL. Last game was for English was a loss to uh, this past week. Who they lose to again? Last uh, they lost to Everett uh, in a seven to six loss. A seven to on six Monday. loss, and we that was our first game we called together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of our camera guys reported the wrong score, and uh, so we made a little bit of adjustment there in the edit for you. Uh, we're see, we're happy to see what classical can come out and do today. Uh, last week, classical coming off of a thromping. Uh, I think they lost to Everett. No, as well. I, if I remember correctly, their game was their last game was like a 16-2 win over Malden, if I'm not mistaken, according to. I think max preps it was. Right, but their last loss. Their last loss, yeah, that was to Everett, a, right? Yeah, that was an absolute beating from Everett. Leading well. off, Lauren Wilson. Wilson at the center field position today. Here we go. The boy to throw the first pitch of the game. We are underway now. The boy. That is a ball to start off the game. And going for pitch number two. Pinero giving the signal to LeBoy for the pitch. Throws it. Another wide ball there. That's another ball. 2 0 count. Wilson's in her senior year this year. I'm sure she's looking to bring the Rams further down. The bracket than they were able to get to last year. Coach Morin leading as the head coach. Pitch by LeBoy. Another wide one there. That is a, another ball, 3-0. Not a great start for uh, LeBoy. As Pinheiro signals pitch, LeBoy has the pitch she wants. And she'll throw it here to Wilson. There it goes. And that's the first strike for after a foul ball. The boy here has the pitch she wants. Steps up. And will pitch. Ball four, so that will be a walk for Wilson. Not a great start for LeBoy. Next up to bat, Donna playing at that right field position, wearing number six today. Donna steps up to the plate. LeBoy trying to get a strikeout this time. After walking Wilson there, another one there. Oh, that's a stolen base there for Wilson. What a that error there leads them to have to get in scoring position now. Yeah, Panero just lost track of that one. The sun's right in front of her, and Wilson capitalizing yeah. on the mistake. Well, here comes the pitch from LeBoy again. That one is high here. Is that going to be caught here? No, it's not. Just out of play. Wilson's going to take goes. third. Wilson, the third, sliding in. And it's a great start for the Rams. So Donna's able to get on base. That pushes Wilson a third. One in scoring position. Next up to bat, Nevaeh F. Nevaeh F. F playing at yep. the uh, shortstop position today, wearing number seven. As F steps up to the plate now, uh, 
The boy has the pitch she wants that was signaled by Pinheiro. She steps up to the mound now. And the pitch. And that's a str Oh! It's going to take some time to explain this one. Well, that's a bit of an issue there. As she tried to... I think she tried to throw the ball to either third or second. And it hit F's uh, bat there, so that's a bit of an issue. Could be batter interference. Yeah, I think that's what's happened here. Unintentional, obviously. So that means they might send Donna back to first. Yeah. I think that's what we're gonna, they're going to do. No, they're going to leave it. Well, this is going to issue her a warning. Hey, step out. Yeah. Leave us without doubt. Yeah. The boy steps up the pitch. Throws it. And that's strike number two here. Oh, Nevea F. The boy. Dana at that second position uh, there at second base with a long lead. Wilson's looking back at her like, hey, wh wh where am I going to go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the boy here. Takes it. Oh, that's going to be a one. That's run number one. That might be 2 0 -oh here. It is 2 0. -oh. She might take third. And she's going to try to go center, to third. She's going to have to get down. And she'll get down there. A triple there for Nevea F. So F <laughs> gets the three, drives in two. So classical leading two to zip here in the first inning. Next up to bat, Brooke Braswell. Braswell playing at that first base position, wearing number uh, wearing number one. Here we go. The pitch from the boy, and that's strike one. Came close to a strikeout last uh, last at bat there for LaBoy, but a nice strike or a nice hit to left field sends them down too already. And there it is, another one. Here. Oh, three zip already. Throws one into the dirt, sneaks past the shortstop. Classical capitalizing right now on the messy infielding by Lynn English. Next up to bat after Braswell's stand-up single, Chevalier coming up. Chevalier playing at that left field position. Little boy. The pitch signaled by Pinero. She steps up to the mound, mound now, little boy. And the pitch, a wild one there. Braswell's going to take second. And off to second now. And she's off to third. And, and oh, she's going to take no. home, too. <laughs> oh, boy. That's already four. four in the and we're day. not even out of the top. Four in the day first. for Classical so far. Uh, we haven't even gotten through the first inning. English going to take some time to collect themselves and have a discussion with the infield. We want to say thanks to those who are tuning in. If you're watching on our YouTube channel, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for all the up-to-date sports and events happening in and around with Lynn City High Schools. If you're watching on our Comcast and Verizon channels, we want to say thanks. We also want to show some love to our crew. We've got our classical team up at the perch. Today is God's Will and Joanna, who are working to bring you these smooth and steady shots. And yeah, you got Stephen and I again, and I'm sure you guys are super psyched to have us. What a beautiful day we've got here. Marathon Monday, Stephen. Yes, sir. Certainly is. Yeah. Soon, I think, either soon the marathon will start or it's already started here as we have not escaped the top of the first yet and it's already four nothing here the exact opposite of english's last game where they kept it close the boy that one is low there and you've got to help here if you're english that they don't have another error. The boy steps up to the mound, has the pitch she wants. The pitch, another wild one there, that's another ball. No stress on the infield as all the batters have been brought home. Yeah.
the boy. No outs, right? No out. No outs right now. No. Only two strikes on the day here. Another. Oh, it's a. It's a walk now. That was a 3-0 count. Now it's a 4-0 count. And Chevalier, I think, or Chevalier, will get on base. Yeah, Chevalier is going to get a walk there in our first at bat. Next up to bat, the third baseman, Elias, wearing number 11. As Elias and goes on to the base here, the boy with the pitch, strike one there. Oh wait, was that ball? Nah, nah, she swung. That's a that's a strike. Oh, one count here. As the boy steps up to the mound, the pitch, another wild one. Chevalier will stay on first base here. As the boy will step up to the mound again. <clears throat> I think it's a 1 1 count right now. The boy. Oh, that's a wild one here. That's stolen second again. Maybe stolen third. Nope. Chevalier will stay on second there. And this does not seem like the English we saw last game versus Everett. Because they seem to have some composure, too. In a close loss there. You know, in some of these early Everett. games, but the teams are so unevenly matched. Some have gotten out a couple of days. Yeah. Some haven't. Oh, that's up. And that will go out behind. Foul. So it's interesting to see how the teams develop over those first two weeks. You know, Classicals has some pretty solid returners. Braswell and Wilson and F. And some of these guys were big-time players for them last year, so. See how they do this year. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they found the, the, their stride here as uh, their first English Classical yeah. matchup is a big one. Strike there. And that is an out. That's that one. Up next is... Wilson. Wilson. Wilson, the designated hitter, wearing number 17 today. Not Lauren Wilson, is that? Not Lauren. I'm pretty sure it's Sarah, but I don't want to be wrong. We'll right. wait for the team to start to chirp. Strike. And a ball there. I think that's a 1 all or a 1 0 count. So LeBoy with her first strikeout. As. It looks like it's. Is it a meeting with. On the mound here? Oh. Well, the English shortstop took some time to come on in and said, hey, I think I got the I the read on this kid here. Yeah, either that or she's trying to motivate the boy after a not-so-great start here. Only one out. That yeah. was a strikeout. Johansson came in and said, hey, let's slow it down. I think I got the read on this kid. And Panero quick to get in there. Hey, I want to know the scoop. What's going on? <laughs> well, if you, as they break now, you got to. Never know yeah. what they're saying in there, Stephen. You think yeah. they're talking about us? Probably not. Probably not. They're probably trying to motivate Ariana LeBoy after a not so great start there. Strike two. Looks like whatever they had to say helped. Yeah, I don't see any signals from the umpire saying if it's a strike or not. And that's not helping us here. It's 0-2 count. And that one goes. And is that an out? That will be a fly out of there. So two. The catcher for the classical Rams. Uh, well, nice played by Johansson there. Stay composed. Up strike there. That ball was about 300 feet up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> strike two, and. Oh boy, it's a stolen third. Uh, the boy will have to. The Chevalier is going to take third. Yeah. In a dangerous position, there is 
Chevalier as the boy with the pitch to Sinopis. That is a ball. Sinopius? Sinopius. We'll get there. We'll, we'll figure out how to pronounce it. tell you all about it on name. Tuesday during the news. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're on break, so we'll have, to, we'll have to figure that out starting next week. And I think that's a strike. No, it's a ball. Well, so 2-2 two, two count. Centipede has got pretty small strike zone up there. <laughs> working working to the kid's advantage throughout yeah. her softball career. Well, she's got abs on here. The boy. Ball three. Going lower there as... Good eye on the freshman. We're in lucky old 13. Let's see if lucky number... The lucky number 13 will be used to her advantage here. The boy. That's a walk. Up next. I mean, it's... Yikes. If it's... Uh, Ramirez, we got Ramirez up. Ramirez, the boy, playing at the uh, second base position today. The boy, he, she has walked so many players today. Yeah, three walks so far, one strikeout. Yeah, one strikeout, two outs, one with a fly out there, and they're gonna go try and steal. They're gonna try and steal home, and she's out. And they get her out at third for the final out of the inning. So after the first. Half of the first inning, Classicals leading English 4-0. to zero. We'll be back. And we're back, bottom of the first, leading off for the Lynn English Bulldogs, the catch of Panero. Here we go. They kind of dunk it, I believe, with the pitch. Wild one there. So, 1-0 count. As Kelsey Sinop Sinopis, your... Sinopius. We're going to stick with that one. Was you Sinopius. Sinopius. Yeah, let's go with that. I mean, she talks, talks to us about softball all the time. And I don't know yeah. if there's an announcer, an announcer in the world that's gotten it right on the first time. But yeah. by the end of the season, if we don't get it, well, she, she's yeah. got every right to smack us around. Yep. There's a foul tip. So One of our fellow news crew kids. Yeah, I think I saw another one over Our there technical too. director inside of the studio. Yeah. Duncan, another wild pitch. Classical, their last game was a 16-2 win over Malden. Does that momentum have to carry in to this game? Miss John, quick up oh, pitch. Oh, that's uh, going to the dugout. You know, you'd like to think so. Um, coming off of a win versus another GBL team, especially with such a huge deficit. Um, I mean, Classical coming off here in the top of the first with four runs. Uh, it's hard to say that they're not riding some of that momentum into the game today. Yeah. Good Coach Warren coming out, taking some time to clear things up with the Blues. Yep, as Duncan with the pitch signaled by Snappius. That's a hit there, but I think that's going to be a one there. That might be how that is. Easy throw out there. Nice try there for Pinheiro. And next up to bat, Reynoso. Reynoso playing at that center field position for English. We're at number seven today. I mean, also there. Oh, Ooh. I think it got her there. We got another beaning. Yeah. Did we get a beaning? Or was it a, was it a or foul? That was a foul tip, I think, that hit her. Maybe. She beans herself. No Either. benefit of the walk. Ouch. Yeah. No, no bueno. Yeah, because if it clips her first, then that would be a walk here. Duncan tries to bunt here. I dies an out. I think that's it. Nope. Nope. Called, o two, called one the two pitch count? a ball. Two, o two count. One two count. I. I think we got a one two. Yeah, one two. And there it is. There's the out. Great start for Duncan there. With two already out. Joe Hansen up to bat next for the Bulldogs. Joe Hansen wearing number two and playing at the shortstop position. Well, Kate Johansson, Kate Johansson 
pitch here from Duncan. That is well foul. Trying to fight my urge not to follow the ball completely out there and just say where it's landed. <laughs> like I ended up doing a it's bunch rolling, of times last game. It's rolling. Oh, it's oh. stopped. It's just, by the curb. Yep. <laughs> There's a bird now. Pitch here. <laughs> and that's... What? She's just taking some extra oh. time trying to control the speed of the game here. Yeah. A little bit of coaching from the uh, third base coach. What do you think I got here? Right, let's see here. Duncan. Ball. I think it's a 2-2 two -two count. If I remember correctly, or 1-2. There'd be a huge statement for Classical to come out with a 1-2-3 and the inning. Go into the top of the second with four runs. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Just snuck past that one. Came closer. I think that's 3-2. The count here is snap fierce. Throws it back to Duncan. As she signals the pitch to the pitcher. And it's sent by Duncan. Low and in. That's in. Low and in. Oh, now it's a full count. Or that's just say 3-2. Or was that 2-2? Two -two? Duncan. Foul ball. Well to the right of the pitcher there. Or to the left, excuse me. And it's a gr great game today for uh, Classical's team here. The Rams. Flying past the Bulldogs right now as... Duncan doesn't like that ball. Yeah. Get another ball. Right, let me give one of those fresh some, balls. Yeah. I think that caught something over in the... Over in... Up by the way, it got sent foul. Duncan with the pitch. And that's a walk. So one will be at bat here. So Johansson's um, going to take her base. Malloy up to bat next. Malloy playing at that first base position for the Bulldogs. We're at number 10 today. And. Synopsis. Oh, pitch here. Foul here. Flying right there as able to be back to Duncan for pitch number two of the at bat. 0 oh, 1 count here after that foul ball. 1 1 count now as Duncan has the pitch she wants. And that one goes wild there, 2-1 count. Duncan. Low that inside. is up, and... Johansson's going to take Kate second. Johansson gets the second there. So now English with one in scoring position, two outs. And the fate of this inning... On Malloy for English. And she'll stay at Stecken there, Kate Johansson. Oh, it's a walk. So up next to bat. Duncan has the pitch. Who's up next? It's going to be Tina Nguyen. Nguyen, the right fielder, if I'm not mistaken. And that is straight down the middle, I think. So 1-0 count, or 1-1 count. Duncan. And that strike there. I think one two count here. Duncan bringing the heat on that one. No scores yet, but there have been players on base here for English, so seems like offensively they might be having some momentum flying. As that one goes foul. Ooh. DPW might have to work on the top of that shed after that one. Yeah, that's why I can I heard that one from over here. 
As Whoever's napping in there isn't napping anymore. Yeah, they're well awake. As Duncan with the pitch. Wild one there. That is low and inside. Low Both batters are going to oh. advance to the next base. So now two in scoring position here in the bottom of the first. Two outs. Dangerous here for Classical. So they're Moving trying to on. keep this game shut out here against trying English. Trying to drive one deep here. They need to at least try and get an out here. As they do already have two outs here. Strike. I think that's strike one or either strike one or strike two there. I think it's... Oh, is that... Is that the end of the inning? Looks like it's the end of the inning. Or it could be a team time nope, out. They're enter nope, that they're entering there. So that will be, I think, yeah, that's the end of the inning. It's a bit of confusion there. So at the end of one, Classical is still leading four to zip. Looking good for English there at the end as they were able to advance two base runners to second and third. And uh, Duncan came in. Welcome back. Top of the second. Classical leading off with... Uh, McKenna, Duncan, if I'm not mistaken, the pitcher. Yeah, I think Duncan's up, yeah. So, Duncan's up after the L with Ramirez. So, towards the end of the lineup here for Classical. So that's... All right, the boy. Foul. The boy with the second pitch of the inning. Not a great start last, last inning. Can she do better this inning? That's one and not have to go out. through almost the entire batting order there. I think that's strike two. Yeah, that is. So, 0-2 count here on... That is... Is that Duncan? I didn't recognize the number. But, that... Up. Yeah, that's what we got on the lineup. That's what we got on the lineup. Yet. She should be wearing 22. Oh, that is <coughs> all right. Then we. I don't know if we have the right pitcher. Then, because I, I, unless I'm just completely blind. Well, not completely blind, but partially. <laughs> You're gonna be forgiven more up here in the press box than you would in one of those blue uniforms, if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> At least we have the benefit being way too far away from the field. <laughs> and that's a strikeout there. So back to the top. Lauren Wilson up. Second of the day on strikeouts for LeBoy. So we have the boy up to the mound now. The pitch from LeBoy. Oh, that is a good swing there. That gets down there, and she'll get to one already. Great job by Lauren Wilson. So her first at bat was a walk. Second, deep ball to center field. Just drops right before the center fielder out of English. Yeah. Reynoso didn't have time to get there. Yeah. Looks like the top seven will be a problem here for English here. But once you get to eight, it might be... Rachel Dana up to bat next. Easy. Dana playing at that right field position, okay. wearing number six. Oh, uh, that's oh, I thought that's what I thought was on the mound because I I thought I saw six, but no. Anyway, Dana at the bat, the pitch from LeBoy. Strike there. O one count here for. Lady Rams are doing better on the top of the second than the top of the first. As Ariana the boy looking to get two quick outs here in the first three, excuse me, at bats. That's a high one there. I think she's, no, she's safe here. The ball fell out, so. Wilson preempted that one. She saw it going up high and said, this is my chance to go. And Panero just pulled it down from the sky. And threw it over to Johansson, hoping to catch her at, 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 at second on the steal. Johansson yeah. just couldn't handle the ball cleanly. Wilson, lucky to get away with that steal there. Great job at Pinheiro. There's the pitch there. That's a swing there. That's a miss. Good heads up, good heads up play for a catcher. You know, yeah. Just get some height in front of her too. So. The 
the boy. Up. Getting ready to throw the pitch. And that's a wild one there. Almost hitting the head of. Uh, that, would, that would be the Dana. first beheading we've seen here. I believe. That's. <laughs> oh, bean heading. Was it bean heading or beheading? Actually, that sounds better. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't say beheading and bean heading, because <laughs> that that may, might that might be a catchphrase might, for us. Yeah. And there it goes. Yeah, another. Beaning. Wild one we gotta make some t-shirts with our faces on. It. <laughs> Avoid the beanings. <laughs> The boy up to the <laughs> boy up to pinch the pit the pitch there. That is foul. See that going over the fence from a mile away. About six bounces, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I can see that will be a recurring theme over the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. Yeah. For a, for a second game, I think we're doing all right, Steven. I'm feeling real comfortable with this. It's Nice. Oh, that's a walk there. Can't, nice job there. But can't say the same for LaBoy there. I don't know if she's feeling yeah. that comfortable. LaBoy, I mean, I think first, I think she was, she had to have been confident going into the first inning with how well she played. Yeah, well, she had double digit strikeouts. Yeah. <clears throat> but now it's uh, sort of fallen behind her now. F up to bat at the shortstop for classical, Wild wearing number seven. And that'll be a 1-0 count here. One ball, no strikes. Score still 4-0 uh, Hill. 4-0 Hill. 4-0 here. <laughs> At Breed's Park. Or Breed Park. The boy. Another wild one there. Panero's having herself a game today. There's a lot... That could be said for keeping those balls in front. You yeah. know, a couple opportunities here to steal, and uh, that sloppy infield work is really what attributed Classical with those four four runs early yeah. on. Strike there. I think that's strike one of the inning of the not the inning of the at bat. As. The boy with the pitch. Low and Ball away. there. So I think 3 1 is the count. If F can get on base here, that, bring Brooke, that brings Brooke Braswell up with loaded bases. She's yeah. one of the more reliable hitters for classical. Yeah, and that would be problematic for English if. Load, if you get lower bases with Braswell up. And even if they can start chipping away at singles, singles, a couple of walks. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and I think that's strike two here. That is full count. Now, where is your announcers are generally non-biased? We could say that we have a bias towards classical today. Yeah. As one of us is a student, the other is a teacher. Yeah. But we definitely don't want to hit these guys with the curse of the announcer. Yeah. Let's just say we probably should have an English announcer here as well. To say at least here. Ball. Oh. Yeah, easy, easy. Loaded right. bases there. We're bringing the English guys over here, you know. Yeah. Don't <laughs> want to do that. They got a brand new teaching staff over there for their TV club. Uh, teaching is the main priority. So we want to make sure that they're uh, caught up offering kids with all the best resources that they can to practice their media making skills. <laughs> So we'll see those guys a lot more active in the coming fall season. Yeah. Pitch there. Oh, oh, it's an error there. That's going to be one home. Oh, so Braswell drives game. one home. That is two home here. Zick, it's 6 0 here. And once again, Class will get another run on the top of an inning. Yeah. Good heads of play there by the sec. Uh, sorry, so, so, uh, the shortstop Johansson yeah. to get in front of it. He's up at bat now. Oh, it's, oh, it's still Braswell. No, she's at first right now. Who's up to bat? Next Chevalier. up to bat. Yep, Chevalier. Chevalier. I think both are correct here in the situation, as both runners will stay at. 
I'm going. I, I'm going with the the pronunciation of the car. I'm gonna assume that she's an heir to uh, the uh, the manufacturer of the Chevalier car. Good sedan. <laughs> good sedan. But Stephen, you might be right. You got that sweet, fancy French stuff going. Yeah. And there's a strike there on Chevalier. The boy. Strike there. I think that's strike two here, if not strike one. And I might have called a ball by accident. I think it's I think it's an O2 can here right now. The boy with the pitch. And that is Foul. Oh, they're calling it they're fair. They're calling foul. Well, classical called fair. <laughs> they <laughs> think fair. The guys who officiate um, the game had something, something else to say. Or foul, <laughs> I should say, yeah. So that would have definitely brought those two base runners home. Yeah. But it looks like, as of now, that will not be the case. Chevalier, or no, the boy, excuse me. And that one's up here. Is that going to get, that's going to go out. And that's, oh, it's out too. Oh yeah, that's out too. There's only one out. I, I'm, I'm thinking last inning too, where they got two quick outs. Uh, classical specifically, not English. Next up to bat, Elias. Elias. Playing at the third base position, wearing number 11. Elias. Wild pitch, way high there. And it's an all one, sorry, a 1 0 count, one ball, no strikes. The boy. The pitch here. It's up here. That might be uh, up the park. <laughs> In the wrong direction. Yep. Right one if you play for English. So we have one out. No, I think we have two. We got two? Yeah, I think there was, yeah, there was an early, sh either there was an early strikeout early. Yeah, I think it was uh, Eth, first. right? Eth, Eth, Eth. Eth received the strikeout? Yeah, Eth conceded the strikeout, then. And the last, the last pop one fly. fly out. And. They'll stay at two. Might be the weather here that might be throwing off English, too, because they did play well in more windier conditions. It was a miserable day. Yeah. A good. They had a great fourth inning. They pulled away by at least two runs. Yeah, I think they tied up the game. Yeah, they tied up the game. They got, like, four runs in a, in a single uh, inning there, as that one is another ball. 3-1 count, if I'm... Not mistaken. Pinero signals to LeBoy. LeBoy steps up to the mound. Ready to pitch. Foul there. <clears throat> that might be... I, yeah, it's 3-2 here. Full, full count. Full count with two outs. Two on, one in running and scoring position. Will they leave two stranded here? Not right now. Staying alive. Staying alive there with that foul out. Or not foul out. I don't think you can foul out. I mean, unless it goes into the foul area. But then... Depends on whose backyard you're playing in. Yeah. <laughs> Four fouls is an out in yeah. my backyard. <laughs> Move the game along. Come on, speed up the game here. The boy. And there it is. Still leaves two stranded there. So second strikeout of the day so far for Elias. And fourth strikeout on the day so far for LeBoy. So at the uh, conclusion of the top of the second, classical eating English 6-0. to zero. And we're back. First up to bat Ooh. for the Bulldogs. Looks like we got Johansson up. Johansson, yeah, Johansson wearing next. number three. 
Yep. So Anakin Johansson up already uh, 0-1 count, I believe. And that is a wild pitch there. Kelsey Snappus throws that back there. 1-1 one, one count for Duncan. Oh, excuse me. I think that's... I think I'm... Who was... Well, let's ask. Uh, that's jo Joanna, that's six. Let's try to get a zoom in on the pitcher and see if we get the right number here. That is six. So I think we have a, we have the wrong one. Well, that would be Rachel Dana. Up yeah, so Rachel Dana position. is the actual pitcher, not McKenna Duncan. Is that where you got number six? Yep. Yeah, so we do apologize for giving you the wrong pitcher. Ariana LeBoy, I believe, is up to bat now. So Johansson able to get on base there after the walk. Right? Yes. Here we are now. Oh, 1-0 count now. Turn to the Patrick. Patrick Starfish for a moment there. Oh, this is Steven. <laughs> Pitch there. That's going to be a strike there. So, 2-1 count. On the pitcher, Ariana LaBoy. As the pitch from Dana. Dana bringing the Two steam. Two strikes here. In actuality. Somehow. So. Chance to get a strike out early in the inning. That one's going. And that one's caught here by Chevalier. So, up to bat now. I think it's Sania Payton, if I have it. Yep, Sania Payton will be up next. So, LeBoy flies out. Mm. And not that she needed it any, anywhere, but Chevalier was hanging out over there in left field. And notably, Lauren Wilson covered about 40 yards and... Less yeah. than three seconds, so. Oh, they're going to go to second there. And I think she's got. Out. No. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh no. Oh, they got. Oh, wait. Safe then out. Wait. Got both calls. What's the call? It looks like they it's an go out. out. They'll go out because they, they, went, they went safe then out. So two outs here. No one on base. Kelsey Sinopius coming in with the throw out on the steal. And a great throw by her there as Dana foul out. And Joe oh, Hansen. <laughs> Joe Hansen thought she was gonna get the clean steal there. Classical infield playing a bang up job. Everybody's got their head on a swivel. Yeah. Good team play here on defense for the Rams. Right now their only loss is to Everett too, which and they Oh, that's the end of the inning. So they're gonna attribute another strikeout to Dana. And that strikeout's gonna go to Patton. So, at the end of two, Classical is still leading six to zero. We'll be back with the top of the third. There we go. We're back, and we're back. Green, green or red REC up at the top. <laughs> that was you. Did, are we back? All right, we're back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> well, boy. One o, I think one o pitch. If I'm not mistaken, the boy up at bat right now is, whoa! I got Wilson here on the lineup. Wilson there, and she is on her way to first. Wilson wearing 17, and Wilson with the fly out in her first nope, at bat. Nope, nope, she's at she's at bat. Nope, that's she's at base. Right, right. A fly out in her first at bat, her second oh, a single. Oh, on her oh, first. Yeah. Okay, I am sorry, I misheard. Playing at the DH position yeah. today. That's a great job at the designated here. The catcher up to bat now, Kelsey Sinopius. Sinopius had a great uh, throw out there in that last inning. Good heads up play by the freshman catcher. The boy now. Showing bunt. Pulls it there, back. Tries to get it in time. No. And I notice Kelsey doesn't argue with the refs as much as she argues with the TV media. Yes. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> she gets her anger out on us before she gets her before she gets here. Apparently, She's that's a why. Great I see. kid. We're lucky to have yeah. her. The pitch from the boy, and there's the bunt. There it's foul. So two oh uh, one two count, I believe. 
Sinopeus with a walk on our last at bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fourth pitch of the day, I'm sorry, of the inning for uh, the boy. Wild one that goes up. So, 2-2 two, two count. The pitch from the boy. She steps up to the mound here. It's thrown. And they'll... Go for a full count here with one on base. <clears throat> LeBoy with the pitch. And that's strike three. Out goes Kelsey Sinopius. Sinopius caught looking there. Catches the fifth strikeout of the day by LaBoy. Hmm. Next up to bat, Ramirez wearing 23, playing at the second base position for Lynn Classical. Yeah, LaBoy with the pitch. Oh, I think that's right well where she out. wants it. That's that right is, where Ramirez wants it. That was a foul if she, or not a foul, a ball if she didn't, if she didn't swing there, that is a 0-1 count now that should have been 1-0 if she didn't swing there. That's another one there. So 2-0 count, or 0-2 count, excuse me. Zero, uh, no balls, two strikes. Uh, it's up next to bat. So, no, I'm, we're not changing batters. I'm just... Talking. Talking for some reason. <laughs> and there, now we will. Oh, try the catch. Ramirez Sarah got Wilson. caught on the strikeout there. Yeah. Ramirez is going to head back. And LaBoy with six strikeouts Here's so McKenna far Duncan. on the day. McKenna Duncan up to bat. Duncan on bat now. LaBoy. Here, I got a boy with the pitch. Strike one. Duncan wearing that 22 position. Um, we were told number, she was yeah. going to be the pitcher. Must have been a last minute change right before the game. We'll have to yeah. keep an eye out and see if she's on the infield or outfield. Well, either that or she is the like relief pitcher there. Oh, that one's, that one's down there. Sarah Wilson will get to second. McKenna Duncan at first. And we'll go back up for our third rotation of the batting uh, line up. order. Batting lineup. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, Lauren Wilson up to bat. <laughs> Wilson getting on base in her first two at bats. A walk in her first at bat. Yeah. And, you know, you got to attribute that to shaking out the dust. It's an early morning game. Most of these kids are used to sitting in history class. But we're in April yeah. break, so we're trying to capitalize on these morning hours. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to send a pinch runner in for Sarah Wilson. Sarah Wilson. And then, yep. So is there a pinch hitter or am I? No, it's no, just a base runner. Just a base runner here. Can't see with the ponytails. Uh, it's tough to see. I think we got number three. Number three. So that is? That's Cahill. Oh, it's Cahill. All right. So Cahill. Up at bat. Sorry. Up at bat now, Lauren Wilson. Ariana LaBoy with the pitch. Good one there. Oh, well, she has to run, and that's going to be the out that the they need to get out of there. Third. So Wilson will be the last batter of the top of the third inning here. Classical still leading 6-0. to zero. We'll be back with the bottom of the inning. All right, we're back. Bottom of the third inning here. Classical still leading six runs to English a zero. Up to bat for the Bulldogs. Malini Sox. So hitting the bottom of the lineup here for English. Dana. 
bunt there, but that's going to be foul. So, 2-0-2 uh, oh, count. Excuse me. I keep on thinking it goes strikes, then ball. Nope, it's balls, then strikes. Yeah, balls first. And anytime you need a little reminder, if you look over there at that scoreboard, yeah. it always says balls first. Yeah, that... <laughs> well, when it's off, well, <laughs> that at least is useful for how to do the count here. Another ball. Oh! Dana throws a pitch. And, and that is a bean sock right in the face mask. Thank God for the face Shaking up a mask. little bit on the face play. There. It looks like they're going to give her the base. Or the blue might argue that she didn't try to get out of the line. Oh, they're going to... Wait. So they're going to force oh, her gonna bat. Oh, they're going to force her back there. Oh, did she catch, did they catch her with a bat? Lauren Wilson moving back to center midfield well, the, now. The, the batter has the to show the, the ability Coach to try Warren. to move. Yep. Pitch here. And there's a strike there. 2-0 count. So Sock throws up. Showing yeah. bunt there. Oh, Sock out. And they're going to throw Sock out. So back up to bat now is Pinheiro. So first strike uh, of the inning. And third on the day for Dana. As Lanaya Pinheiro up to bat now for her second at bat. Sorry, fourth of the day for Dana. Dana now. Ball. So 1 0 count. <clears throat> Panera with the ground out in her first at bat. Yep. There's another walk there. Or not another walk, another ball there. So 2 0 count. Good job by Cinepius to throw the glove out there and keep, keep another wild pitch. Yep. Low pressure, no batters on bag. Yep. That is a not a strike. 3 0 count. It looks like there's been a couple of strikes there, but. <clears throat> could be our angle. That is a strike, indeed. So, 3 1 count now. As with one out, they're closing in on a full count here. Or they can do that there and get one on base. She'll hold that one there. Great job by Lanaya Pinero. Pinero getting on the base in her second at bat. I know, I know, and so. a shallow line drive over to the left field. Finding number two, Chevalier. Good job on jumping on it, holding Pinero up at the first base position. Next up to bat, Reynoso. Reynoso wearing number seven. Playing in the center field position for the Bulldogs. Pitch here. Oh, boy. And Panero's going to go Panero's to second. Down at second now. After the wild pitch from Dana forces Sinopeus to yep. run back and, and retrieve can, that ball. Yep. And I've now found McKenna Duncan. She's in... Uh, Right field, so she'll be the num on our number nine position. Okay. So I think that might be. Yes, yeah, so I think that's been either they do it the opposite way, or could or just they been just a last flipped nine and one. There. Oh, there's a bunt here. That is quite well on the edge of the foul line there. And great placement there by Reynoso, but it just rolled over the foul line. Yeah. And, you know, you got to attribute good heads-up play there wait. by Elias to wait, they, wait for it. Oh, they sent it back. Right. And the ball rolled out of bounds before it got to the third baseline. And, uh, oh, so that's now a foul. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. A good heads-up play there And there's the by Elias to let it roll. There's another ball there. Oh, boy. Okay, I think they were trying to make sure Lanaya Pinero stays at second. But that Good responsibility by Ramirez to get into uh, position to back up Dana. Yep. And I think that might have clipped her there. It did. So I think she did. Yeah, she... She she got caught in the knee, so I think if that or it's a fourth ball, I think it was actually. So that's Reynoso. It's going to get the walk. Yep. So up next is Johansson. Johansson. 
Kate Johansson. Johansson. Strike there. I have something on my arm. Playing at the uh, sh second base, uh, short shortstop position. Two on, one in scoring position for English. And we have one out here. Steal here, but it's not going to happen as it goes foul. Uh, Dana has the pitch she wants. Swing there and a miss. And I think she's out. Yes, yeah, she's out. So Johansson with another strikeout against Dana. Her first at bat, a walk. Malloy, next batter up. Yep. Malloy playing at that first base position. We're in number 10. Oh, the first baseman now up to pitch, or the bat, sorry. And taking a little bit here. Two outs in favor of the Rams. A little bit of coaching going on along that third baseline with the base runners. <laughs> English trying to figure out a way to score here. And they've got to now. They are, they are very much in desperation mode at this point. I'm calling bunt. I'm calling yeah. bunt along the third baseline. You got a bunt here. Hope it goes goes towards the shortstop there and an error. Oh, they showing bunt. Going the bunt for the there. steal. It goes foul here. Oh, and that is going to be the run they need. Trying to throw him out of third. And, and they got safe it. Safe at home. So a little so top foolery there. 6-1. English gets their first run of the day. And a little bit of coaching by the third base coach. Hey, show bunt. That's what they're expecting. Even the chubby guy in center field is going to think so. Pull it back, well, and all <laughs> both, both, both bag runners are going to advance. Uh, hopefully we get a bad bad throw, and that's Dana. exactly what oh, happened. Oh, that is a good hit by. And there's the out. And so that'll be the, the end of the inning. So third out of the inning, English able to get onto the board with one. Classic leading six to one. We'll be back with the top of the next. Wild pitch one. So we're back here, top of the fourth, classical leading six to English's one, and up to bat is who's up to bat, Stephen? I can't really tell. I think oh we're back boy. up to the top here. Uh, no, we're not back up to the top. That's because no. Lauren Wilson's already gone. I wish I could see the number. What's our? I think it's gonna say Brooke Braswell. I'm going with Dana. Either, yeah, or Dana. Actually, yeah. Let's see. Strike. Nope, ball two. Can I see the number? No, I cannot. They don't, let, they make it, they don't make it easy on you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, this could be F. Yeah, it's either F or Dana. Oh, Braswell's someone on back. Yeah, someone in between Braswell and Wilson. That's, oh, that's, I think I saw a two. Nope, I, that's, so that's not someone who's up right now. I'm going to go with Nevaeh F. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'll go, let's go Nevaeh, 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 excuse me, <laughs> Nevaeh F. Foul, Stays tip alive there. off of that one. And that is, oh, I think I see a six, so yeah, that's probably, that actually might be Dana. Could be. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out whether we see if we see Brooke Braswell or not next one, or we do that here. Out there, and that was that was that was Nevaeh F. So up at bat now is Brooke Braswell. So one out so far in the inning for classical. Brooke Braswell up to bat, two singles and her first two at bats. Braswell playing at that first base position. Brooke Braswell, probably the most dangerous hitter here. They probably want to try and, at this point, probably try and walk her again. Amount. Either that or we're get very, very lucky. Braswell does a good job. Kid gets on base. Yeah. 
And there's the hit, but it's going out. <laughs> so one, th two, one count. Two balls, one strike with the strike coming from a foul. As we have the pitch from the boy. Two. So it's 2-2 two, two with Brooke Braswell now. One out. Six strikeouts on the day so far for the boy. Hoping to add a seventh to the tally here. And that is another out, not an out, another foul there. So that is still 2-2 two, two count. As Brooke Braswell, hoping to get back on base. She's having a great day tonight, the boy. And that's her out. So Braswell will go out this time around. Seventh of the day so far yep. for the boy. As Chevalier will come back up now. Two outs in the inning. No base runners on. Classical in a bit of a drought. Yeah, can they go three up, three down here, English? Ariana the boy finally picking up some momentum here from that was there's a ball there, one oh count. Picking up some momentum that they had last game. She had a great game last last game too, and only lost by one there, another ball there, so two oh count. You know, LeBoy comes out, does a great job with those yeah. first two at bats. And there's another one there. Does she? That's 3 0. I think she or just. 3 1. Sometimes it just looks like she kind of gets in her own head on that third batter. She ends up with a full count. Placement might be a little bit high. Yeah. Here we go. LeBoy with the pitch. And that's a walk. So Chevalier will get on base. Elias up to bat next. Elias playing at that third base position. We're in number 11 for the Rams. And Elias trying to make up. She's got a bit of a redemption here. Two strikeouts yeah. on her last two at bats. Let's see if Elias can finally get on base here. And there's a stolen base for Chevalier. Not two, but just one. Uh, she'll stay at second after stealing it. In scoring position now is Chevalier. As another meeting between catcher and pitcher will happen now. Panera does a good job at trying to help out LeBoy. And uh, you see her come out a little bit more as the game progresses. She tries yeah. to pick up on those tendencies of the batters. So I think Panera's got the number picked right now on Elias. Yeah, um, so... And Elias has struggled so far in this game. So let's see if Panero's extra help is any help to LeBoy here in earning her eighth strikeout of the game so far. Yeah. LeBoy with the pitch here. 1-1 one, one count here, but they're trying to get there. Safe. Two stolen bases so, for Chevalier. Yikes for English there. Possible chance at a 7-1 game here. So two outs. Two outs here now. The boy. Ball there. Two one count. Pinero, she's been quite a lot more helpful for the boy to say other than Johansson last game. There's a strike. So two two count. Pressure's on for Elias here. We've got a base runner there in scoring position at third. Classical in a bit of a drought. Trying to capitalize on this five-run lead. Oh, what a hit there. 
It, oh, that's going to be a run there for Chevalier. And Elias will get to second. Totally redeemed yourself. And so there after is... two strikeouts, Elias comes out, drives one deep to center left field, just in position, or rather out of position for the outfielders to get there, drops it in, sends Chevalier home, classical advance to seven, so English is one. Yeah. Well, a boy here, it's a pitch here. Uh, Wilson, uh, no, that's not Wilson, actually. Is that is a pinch hitter. Could have a pinch. So and they've been going if, to Cahill on the pinch run. So let's see what number she's wearing. Cahill's in three I today. I see. That's another strike there. They'll make sure that Elias stays at second here. They're trying to strand her there. Seven one the score right now. And that's the end of the first, uh, sorry, that's the, as now we go to the bottom. So, in the, as we advance to the bottom of the inning, Classical able to tack on another run, 7-1, to one, Classical leading over English. We'll be back. All right, we're back here, bottom of the inning. Up to bat, Nguyen. Strike one here to open up the bottom of the fourth there. Leon playing in the right field position, wearing number nine. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a, and that's out there. Great job there by Brooke Braswell to get it. One out already. As next up to bat is Johansson. Anika Johansson. Johansson in the first uh, base, I'm uh, sorry, wearing number three, playing in the third base position. Here we go. Dana. Another foul, uh, not not foul, uh, ball. Ball. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not like a baseball or softball person. Wide left. We will be at the end of the season. Yeah, I'll at least have some decent out that. Well, that's out. It's a line so, drive to the second baseman for Classical. Yep, a quick pitch over to Braswell. Ends up, up in the second comes, out of the inning. Yep. Up comes the pitcher, Ariana LeBoy. So two outs here. Classical with a six-run lead. Oh, oh, look at that there from LeBoy here, and she'll get on base. So deep line drive over the shortstop's head, right in between left and center field. Wilson runs over to clean it up, holds LeBoy up at first, and we'll see a pinch runner come pinch in from LeBoy. Here. That is going to be, well, we can probably see that a lot easier than we saw the pinch there. Eight. So that's going to be Guy. Amelie Guy, she came in as a pitch, uh, pinch runner last game, too. I think that was during the inning where they gained four out, out of a sudden burst of, burst of, I don't know, adrenaline, momentum, whatever you want to call it, their strike. Pat in the batter <laughs> for Lynn English. That is, oh, who is that there? I think, uh, oh, that's Dania Patton. I'm Patton strike at. one there, ball. So strike one, ball one. Patton at the second base position for the Bulldogs. Two outs here. Dana. That is strike two. And that, oh, nope, strike three, we're out. Okay. So strike three, Patton gets served up for a second strikeout of the game so far. That brings Rachel Dana to six on the day. So, at the end of five, Classical leading seven to English's one. And we're back, top of the fifth. So, we, a little bit of a mistake there at the end, with at the end of four innings. Yeah. 
Classical Strike leading one. seven, two Englishes, one up to bat. Kelsey Sinopius, the catcher for the Rams. Great. Well, a strike two for Sinopius. Sinopius' third at bat today. Her last was a strikeout. Her first a walk. Yeah, the boy. Foul there, so no change in the count. Still 0-2 for the catcher. The boy with the pitch. Foul there, or not foul, ball. Mix up, I keep on mixing up ball and foul constantly now apparently, so. It is a one-two count there. Oh, oh! Right through the that five hole. That through the legs. And that will be Kelsey Sapius on first. Right through the five hole, little boy. Forces the center fielder for Len English to come up and try to make a play on it. Holds Kelsey Sinopius up at first base and next up to bat. For the Rams, we're looking at Ramirez. Ramirez, a strikeout in her last at bat, playing at that second base position and wearing 23. A bunt here. That is foul. Showing bunt. That might be the highest bunt in breed softball field history. Yeah. As it goes over the backstop. So LeBoy must have been bringing the heat there. Yeah. I mean, unless we, unless there's been something since you were last uh, announcing, which was, when was it, I would say? Like, I think Thursday was our last game together. No, right? no, no. Like, not season-wise. Like, I mean, yeah, probably last season. We'll probably be in between. I mean, in between the times you were announcing here. Is it? Oh yeah, no, I don't. I'm not sure if that's an actual record. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be an actual record here, unless it, unless there's been one that's it's gone above the school. It would be a boring record to keep. <laughs> yeah, that would be a boring Highest record. Highest foul ball. Yeah. Highest foul ball. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if it's been bunted and hit for a home run by accident because of that. <laughs> Bunt again, strike. I have seen some dingers. I have seen some dingers. Classical uh, graduated a few solid hitters last year. Uh, the center fielder for Classical. Can't remember the name for the heck of me, but was she it was in, uh, in softball or baseball. Softball. She had a couple of dingers last year. The, oh, there it is. Showing bunts, and, and a piece is going to advance to second. And we got another on base here. So now one in scoring position. Ramirez gets on with a bunt. Stand-up single. Next up to bat, Duncan. Duncan playing at that right field position. Wearing number 22. I think that's who we have up here. Yeah, I think that's... It. Unless we've had... Either it's... Yeah, no, that's... That's number... Yeah, that is McKenna Duncan. I can tell you right now. Okay. I can... Strike there. Bring in the steam. Making sure neither Ramirez nor Snafius run off to the next base. The boy. What a hit there. And that is going to be Snafius at least going home. Maybe two more. And that is two more. So a stand-up triple for Duncan, a single in her last at-bat, sends two home. And brings Classical to a total of nine on the day so far. It's, it's a great day if you're Classical right now. It's a great day to be a Ram, that's for sure. Yeah, great past two games. You, you, get, you win by 14 over Mauled in the way, and now you're up by nine over... Or no, you're up by eight over... Uh, English right now, your rivals. Back to the top of the lineup. Lauren yes. Wilson up to bat oh, Wilson, for the Rams. That's a Wilson with a ground out. strike, a ball. Wilson so with a ground out and our last at bat, a single before that and a walk. These batters for classical having a day. 
and it'll continue here unless that's foul. That's foul. Great job there for the classical classical's batters. Uh, Ariana Lin, uh, the boy, strike there on Wilson there. So that will be a one two count or two one count, I believe. Two balls, one strike, or one ball, two strike. I don't know. I think it's one balls, two strikes. <clears throat> but I could be severely mistaken. Foul there. So let's see if the if the count changes here or if it is one ball, two strikes. So we yeah. got doesn't seem like it's changed, so it is one ball, two strikes. <clears throat> And that one's going. That's fair. And that's another one on. Double digit runs here for Classical. As Lauren Wilson gets McKenna Duncan home. Up next to bat is the pitcher, Rachel Dana. Looks like they're going to send a pinch hitter. And I oh, think that was hitter. Dana, Dana up at Dana bat last. At bat. So they must have pinched Dana in. No, no, I can. I think that was Lauren Wilson. Unless doesn't help that they're wearing six and eight and both have ponytails. Yeah. Nope, there's a pinch runner. Yeah, there is a pinch runner for the last batter. So I think they just, yeah. So. But it looked like Dana's number on the back as she was walking back. Yeah. I mean. Maybe trying to keep her fresh at that pitching position. Yeah, that's probably what they're trying to do here. Foul. Or, I, I can't stop saying foul when it's a ball, apparently. <laughs> Anyone's a major baseball or softball fan, I'm sorry for mixing up balls and fouls. That is a ball. So two balls, at least. Parker's the pinch runner. Yep. That, yeah, Liliana Parker's a pinch runner. And I'm pretty sure we're looking at Nevaeh Ath. Yeah, I think Nevaeh Ath is at bat this So time Dana out. was the last batter. Unless... Ath is now in at the... Strike here. ...batting position here. Can we get a number on her? No, I cannot from this position. So the uh, coach... Coach Morin probably trying to keep Dana fresh. Yeah. Hoping that she can finish out the, uh, the game on the mound. walk here. So. It looks like they're going to walk Eth Parker. Eth? The pinch runner is going to advance to second. Number one, I believe that is Brooke Braswell. Braswell coming back up. Yeah, so Nevaeh Eth was on base. So Dana did go in. So Brooke Braswell, a strikeout in her last at-bat. Two singles in their first two. Here we are now. Reynolds. Nope, that's the boy. Oh, they were there. So they're going to hold and Braswell gonna have, up. But oh. All base runners are going to be held up. And who's up next here? I think it's Chevalier. Yeah, it's Chevalier. So this is a great spot to be in if you're Chevalier here with bases loaded. And Nuyon, right there for it, couldn't field the ball cleanly, but had enough poise to pick it up and hold all base runners. Yeah, the boy. Pinero signaling her the pitch as she throws it. And that is a ball here, so 1-0 count. And Chevalier with a walk, with two walks today. She had a fly out in her second at bat. It's a warm day here too, so. I don't think they're really used to the heat, and you can tell as that one goes foul. So, one all on the count. So, one ball, one strike as the pitch here. 
Two balls, one strike now. Classic was looking at loaded bases with no outs. Yeah. This is how that first inning started. This is great here. That is appearing to be in, so... 3-2, full count. It's a big moment for Chevalier. And another one for... And same for LeBoy. That one goes... Swinging the for the out. fences and hitting a lot. Yeah. It's not really a great situation if it goes past the dugout. It's a great situation for a classical if it goes past us here. <laughs> oh, that one is foul. So still no change in the count here. It's 3-2, full base, full bases, full count, no outs. So if English. she strikes her out, there's still two chances for a grand slam home run English for leaving a big gap here between center and left field. Oh, and they'll get it. Oh, and that is at least two home. But they're going to get the out on Brooke Braswell. And she'll get to third, sorry, she'll get to second before getting out at third. So 12 on the day for Classical. Chevalier able to get on base with her first hit single. Drives two base runners in. However, base runner got picked off at the third position. Coach yeah. Morin getting a little eager yeah. out there advancing his base runners. English yeah. putting the steam on that one to get it into play. Toss out the base runner at third. Good holding there by Pinheiro instead of throwing it at first. Elias up to bat. Elias playing at that third base position. Wearing number 11 today. Elias did well her last at bat here. Getting yeah. on the base. A double. Double there. There goes Wild the runner. Wild pitch from boy. Number two. It's going to send That's Chevalier. That's going to be Chevalier. Past us. Or not. At, well, in front of us. Past us, in front of us. Depends on where you're really, what your de definition of in front means. <laughs> Everybody's farmer's tans are well underway yeah. as the sun peers out past these clouds here on Marathon Monday. Classical yeah. looking at a 12 to 1 lead so far. Oh, someone's, something's happening here between. Umpire and one of the coaches, maybe. I don't know. Sportsmanship, always the utmost of importance to the Blues here in the MIAA. Oh, and there, that one's in. They say that's in. That's going to be another run here. So 13 1 is your score. Second stand-up double for Elias. Wilson coming in to bat the designated hitter wearing number 17. <coughs> Classical cleaning up this inning. It's a good sign here for Classical here. Might get out early. Either that or they collapse completely. And suddenly it's another close game like it was for Everett. Both sides, sorry, both times the opponent of English did well. And but and last game, they managed to get a sudden rush of runs there in like the fourth or fifth inning to tie up the game and then go up by two. That game ended in a 6-7 loss to English. Ball. One out, one in scoring position. The designated hitter is up. Classical cleaning up this inning and improving their lead by 12 runs. 13 on the day so far. 13 runs on the day by both teams here. That's a ball here. I think three won the count. Well, 14 on the day total. English with one. Classical leading 13 to one over nope, 12 English. 12 to one. 
13 runs total for both teams, 12 to 1. That one goes down there. And they're going to, oh, they're arguing for interference there. But that was just some awkward positioning here. She did try to jump over, try and get out of the way at least somewhat there to not interfere there, Chevalier. Or no, is that Chevalier? Or am I? No, I think Chevalier already got home here. Who is 11? Uh, Olias, excuse me. Kelsey Sinapius up now, the catcher. Getting home in her last at bat. See if she can do that again. Good eye by the freshman catcher. Good eye by the freshman and good eye by well good eye by both catchers there. Making sure no one advances and that's not a strike here. There's the strike. So it's a 1-1 one, one count there. The boy with the pitch. 2-1 count here. Great eye there from the freshman. As Kelsey Snappius currently has two balls and one strike here. Three balls. As, well, you know it's spring when there's a bunch of bugs around you, apparently. <laughs> the boy. And that's going to be the walk. No, it's not. I think it's a 3-2 count, then. Or I am just completely forgetful of what the count is here. And that's out there. Yep, out goes Kelsey Snappius. So that's two outs, I think. Ramirez, the second baseman for Classical, to be the next up to bat. A single in her last at bat. Do we know if it's one or two outs right now? I'm, I think we still got one, Steve. Uh, no, oh no, no. Brooke Braswell got called out on That's third right. too. They got, so they, pit, they they picked her off at third as she advanced. That's right. Yeah. So we got so two. So we outs are here. at two, with two with one at first and one at third. <clears throat> and it looks like they'll try, and that'll be the out. So. So no yeah, run scored good... there as the final out is thrown out. But at first, Steven says 12. I say 13 to English is 1. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth inning. Yep. All right. And we're back. Bottom of the fifth. Classical leading. Lynn English 13 to 1. Isn't that right, Steven? <laughs> yep. I do apologize. <laughs> I kept on saying 12. Apparently someone else gone base. Who is that last person on base? So let's see, who do we got up at bat right now? We got up at bat here. That is, it looks like. I got Sock. I think, yeah, I would say Malini Sock. Because Patton was up at bat last. Sock then, with yep. a strikeout in her first at bat. And then I see the, oh, two strikes here. Or one ball, one strike, or two strikes here as Rachel Dana. Great job by her as the pitch foul tip. So that is a definite two out, uh, one out, not two strikes. <laughs> How do I mix up strikes without? That's probably the easiest one not to mix up. There are no outs so far. There are no outs. Ooh, right oh, that sock. came way too close here. A lot of close calls here. <clears throat> from both pitchers here, specifically from Rachel Dana. Dana got away with a beaning. Yeah. I think that was against Sock last time too. Yeah, she got away with a beaning on Sock last time around here. Oh, <clears throat> strike there. So that is three strikes. Out goes Malini Sock. Up goes 
Lanaya Pinheiro, if I'm not mistaken. The catcher's up now. So seven strikeouts and of the day so far for that's Dana. strike one there. Pretty sure I saw Vanaya Pinheiro step up in the mound too. <clears throat> or in the bat too as wild pitch there. That will be a 1-1 one -one count with one out. Let's see how well they do this go around here. What a catch there, but that's an out here is Braswell. Braswell doing a good job at staying in front of that Walks one. Walks to one. And it's two outs now with, if I'm not mistaken, Ariana Reynoso up next. Reynoso with a walk in her last at bat. A strikeout in her first. Reynoso playing at that center field position for Lynn English. Pitch here. They get, they get a, uh, a ball here. So 1 0 count on Reynoso for Dana. Foul ball here. So two. So now it's one ball, one strike with two outs now. I don't want. If they want to keep this game close, they need to make sure they don't concede another. Or they, need, or they need to make sure that they're able to get it here. One ball, two. Or Two balls, two strikes, I think. Or is it one ball, two, two ball, one strike? Well, that's a ball, definitely. So at least two balls there. Three one count. So it is three balls, one strike. Possibility to get at bat here. And that's a walk. So Ariana Reno, so we'll get on base here. Kate Johansson up next. Johansson with a strikeout in her last at bat, a walk in her first at bat. Seen her playing at that second field position. Doing a great job for English defensively. Oh, what a hit by Dana. They say that's, they're going to say that's fair. So that will be a run to second there for Johansson. So Johansson gets a stand-up double, sends a base runner to third. English now one yeah. out. English now they are close to kind of lead back to single digits here. Two With base runners on in scoring East. position. Malloy up to bat next. Yeah, Malloy. Ground out Wild in the last at there. bat. <clears throat> and a little bit more pressure on the freshman catcher out of Engl out of Lynn Classical. Yeah. Dana, another one there, two, two nil on the count. Oh, what a hit, crushing that one. That one goes foul though. That one had power to possibly go out of the park but it's on the wrong side of the line. And Dana now second guessing what pitch she's gonna throw here to Malloy. Malloy here with one strike. One of the deepest balls we've seen to sit today and thankfully for Classical, looking at a foul ball. Dana. Got another one there, so it's a 3-1 count here. Is it 3-1 or 3-2? The umpire is not gonna single, sing, signal. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> and that's oh, safe there. Centipede not so, going to be able to get it back in time after the wild pitch. English so, able to drive in another run here. That they is, still got a base runner in scoring position at third. Oh, it's oh, it was a they stole home I think. Cause I don't see anyone at first so. Uh, Johansson, nope, not not Johansson. Malloy still up, and now she's going. So Malloy sees her first the strike the out of the game. So at the end of five, classical leading English, 
13 to 2. We'll be back with the top of the sixth. All right. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning here. Classical delivering a thromping to English. 13 to 2 over the dogs right now and up to bat. That will be. I. Uh, I think we got Duncan. Oh, boy. Now, I think that might be Lauren Wilson again. Nope. Seven, I think. I might be. Seven, so that's Nevaeh F. Good thing you're here, Steven. Yeah. I just barely saw a seven. I might be wrong, and that's an 11, but... No, nah, I don't think they would pinch it this early. Safe. Oh, but they'll get to first here. Lauren Wilson, I think that actually is. I got Wilson. Uh, yeah, that too. is Lauren Wilson. Yep, Wilson too. Either Lauren Wilson or Rachel Dana. I see eight, so that's Lauren Wilson. So Wilson gets As, on with a single. Yep. That means Dana is up to bat. Single in her last at bat. Yep. Dana at that posi pitching position. Eight strikeouts on the day so far. Pitcher versus pitcher right now. The boy. Ball one. Wilson returns to first. One oh count here, little boy with the pitch. Two oh count here. I think there's up, oh, and we'll go for a meeting. I'd like to say thanks to our viewership for tuning in. If you're watching on our YouTube channel, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for all the up-to-date sports and events happening here within the Lynn Schools. I want to say thanks to our crew. we got Lynn Classical here filming the game. Joanna and Godswell up in the perch bringing you these smooth and steady shots. I'm one of your announcers, Sean Donahue. And I'm Stephen Galvin Jr. joining him as the play-by-play -play commentator today. And what on. a beautiful day here. We got a GBL softball matchup. First rivalry game of the season. Classical coming in with a record of 1-1. One and one. English with a record of 1-2. and two. Uh, Last game for Classical. Victory over Malden 16-2. And they've been riding that momentum into this game as they're leading 13-2 over English. And that is a... Uh, uh, nope. Ball there. English losing to Everett in their last game here at Breed. Seven to six, where we called that game, had a couple of blunders. I acted like both a play-by-play -play and color commentary. <laughs> doing a lot better today, not doing a bunch of color commentary. The boy with the pitch. Another ball, and that will be a walk. Up next is Nevea F. So two on, one in scoring position for Classical. F coming up to bat. F with a fly out in her last at bat, a strikeout before then, but a stand up triple in her first at bat. Yeah. And that's. Oh, pinch hitter for Rachel Dana. I'll have to runner? see. Oh, pitch run pinch runner. So they're gonna Excuse give me. Dana a little bit of break there. They'll bring in a pinch runner. Last time they brought in a pinch runner it was Parker. Yeah, it was Parker. This does not look like Parker this time. Or, no, that nope, that's a 14, I think. So yeah, that's Parker. Oh, that is Liliana Parker. All right. Well, I apologize for that one here. Very much a sporting day here in Massachusetts. Here, strike there for them on the Nevea F. Yeah, a lot going around, a lot going on in and around the uh, greater Boston area today on Marathon Monday. The marathon, we have the marathon on one Boston day this year. One of the best nap days in the history of the state of Massachusetts, yeah. Marathon Monday. Marathon Monday, unless you are really into the marathon. You also have the Red Sox playing, I believe, the Guardians. Nothing makes me sleepier than watching other people run. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that one's out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll teach you to put the brakes on when you're coming through the cul-de-sac of breed, huh? Yep. 
Well, they, they didn't learn that lesson. Won. They're they're going 40 on the way out. So. Yep, and yeah, you could see that person going flying fast just there. We got the plate though. Don't worry. But we everybody. got the plate. <laughs> that one goes up here. That is out. First down of the night. Or not up, not not of the night of the inning. The inning. <laughs> the yeah the inning. Well, we're still looking at a morning game here. Yeah. It's still morning. I, I just say night because. I'm just randomly used to saying it. It's a better time of the day, I think, Stephen. And I see yeah. where you're going with that one. I can't blame you. Yeah. Considering how the sun might be affecting these Steve. Oh, that one goes there. Lauren Wilson will be heading to first here. All the... And does she... She's called safe. So Braswell... So it is... Getting on base with her fourth single of the day so far. Drives in one runner. Lauren Wilson scores the 14th run for the Rams. Yeah. Brooke Braswell on base. So two in scoring position for Classical. So I think Brooke Braswell just came in too. And we just missed that. So up next will be uh, Chevalier. Wild pitch there. And that will be... Single one in her last at bat. A couple walks today so far. She's doing quite well today. Check swing results in a quick caught second out of the inning. All players stick to their bags. Good heads up play by the first baseman out of Lynn English. Yep. And that's Malloy. We have pitch there. Nice hit there. Is that in? That's in. They will go try and get first. They do get first. That'll end the inning. 14. We're back. Well, we're back. We were just having a little conversation. We've m been mispronouncing the catcher's name for a long while. It's Sinapuse. That one's foul. Tina Nguyen up to bat for Lynn English. Oh, no, that's... Oh, yeah, that is Tina Nguyen. I'm so, mixed ground up with out Anaya Guy. in her last at bat. Strikeout in her first oh, at I bat. Oh, I think there was a pinch hitter, and I called her Emily Guy. Or not, sorry, Anaya Guy. It was actually Tina Nguyen. That's right. And that's a strike there. Classical up. 14-2 over Lynn English right now. Rachel Dana working to get her ninth strikeout of the game so far. Eight on the day so far. Great job by Rachel Dana tonight. Ball here. So I think it's a 2-2 two -two count. Two -two. Is that what you have? Or am I... You're the count guy. Well, I couldn't see the umpire's <laughs> count from we'll over here. We'll have a lengthy conversation with him after this. There's a, It was a 2-2. Two -two. So out goes... Nine strikeouts on the day so far for Dana. And that's the second delivered to Nguyen. Yep. Nguyen so having trouble getting on base today. Pitch here. Oh, good hit by Anika Johansson, but that's going to get her out. Braswell fielding the ball, Braswell stepping on the out. bag herself. And up next will be the pitcher, Ariana LeBoy. Doing well her past two at-bats here. Plus, almost having double-digit uh, strikeouts here. Yeah, the boy with nine strikeouts on the day so far. Dana with nine strikeouts on the day so far. That is a out here. Nope, not. Excuse me. <laughs> that is a ball. Second pitch by Rachel Dana. Two two. Or not one. Excuse me. Two two zero. Oh. I cannot speak right now. That cloud coverage is There's nice. There's a cloud there. Sudden wind here. It's gotten colder. Probably a lot more to what these players are used to. Hopefully for them, that cloud stays for a long while. That could help out English in the long run. Good job by Senna to keep nope, that one in front. Nope, here comes the sun again. But she'll get a walk anyway. She'll be back on. And I are they going to get a... Uh, Pinch hitter? Yes, I think. Or, sorry, pinch runner. They are. Tina Nguyen comes back on as the pinch hitter. Or runner, excuse me. <laughs> I keep on saying runner when I mean, or hitter when I mean runner. 
I think they got Guy there pinch running for LeBoy. I see nine. That's oh no, that's eight. Oh, thank. I think she she's been subbed in. Yeah, she's been subbed in for. So the pinch runner is Guy. Unless... Guy advances to second off yeah. of the wild pitch from Dana. Yeah. So now one in scoring position, two outs for the Bulldogs. Yeah. Up next is Sanaya Patton. Or up now is Sanaya Patton. Good strike there. Patton received the strikeout in her last at bat. And her first. Struggle getting her on base. Good game for both pitchers tonight here. It's just a battle of seeing who can get the more strikeouts and who can stop the more ru more runs here. Two strikes here. I think it's two and one, or one, two. One ball, two strikes. And, and that is the it for the sixth. So. With the lead of 14 to two, Classical's gonna take the victory. No need to play the seventh inning due to the uh, slaughter rule. I'm sure there's a different name for it now. I think Mercy Rules. Mercy the Rules the, the name of the game now. So Classical gonna come away with a record of two and one. English is gonna fall to a record of one and three. Classical with 14 runs on the day so far, uh, 14 runs on the day total, English with two, and a great last inning by the Classical Rams defensively. Um, coming out and really wrapping this one up. Steven, what's your take on the game? I would say it's it's been domination by uh, on classical on most of them. I you gotta give credit to LaBoy here for getting the game out of strikeouts here. I think she's does she have more than Rachel Dan? No, she does not actually. So no, so Dana no. will finish with ten strikeouts on that last one and LaBoy will finish with nine. Uh, both teams, GBL teams, so this is going to mean something as the season concludes. And we'll be back here with another softball game later on in the week. We want to say thanks to our crew from Lynn Classical, God's Will, and Joanna up in the up in the perch today, bringing you these smooth and steady shots. I want to say thanks to my co-host, Stephen Galvin, Jr. I'm your announcer, Sean Donahue, from Lynn Educational Television here at the Breed Softball Park. Classical walking away, 14-2 victory over Lynn English. We're wishing you all the best. Since 1986, Lynn Educational Television has enabled students to work in the television industry and learn how to produce media. LETV creates working opportunities for Lynn students, giving them the benefit of gaining real-life work experience in production. Lynn Educational Television brings value to Lynn students, delivering standards-based curriculum in the classroom from middle school to high school. LETV creates future generations of media professionals.